Have you ever wondered how radial engines, like the ones used in vintage aircraft, actually work? In this video, I've recreated a miniature version of a nine-piston radial engine, purely mechanical and fully functional, to demonstrate its mesmerizing internal movement. With high-precision 3D printing from JLC3DP, this project brings the internal magic of radial engines right to your desk. Let's get into the animation, ordering, unboxing, and assembly of this fascinating engine. We used SOLIDWORKS to animate this nine-cylinder radial engine and clearly show how it works. At the center is the crankshaft, connected to a master rod, which drives the other pistons through slave rods, all moving in a perfectly timed sequence. This creates the iconic circular motion and pulsing rhythm that powered so many vintage aircraft. Simple, elegant, and endlessly fascinating. Because this mechanism includes many small moving parts that need tight tolerances, I chose JLC 3DP for high precision 3D printing. Their prints are always clean, accurate, and ready to assemble. I just uploaded the STL files, selected my print settings, and placed the order. If you're planning to print a detailed mechanism like this, I've added a link to JLC 3DP in the description below. Just a few days later, the parts arrived. And I was genuinely impressed with the quality. The pistons were perfectly round. The rods were sharp and well-defined, and everything from gear teeth to housing slots looked clean and precise. The smooth surface finish and dimensional accuracy made this project feel premium right out of the box. With all the parts laid out, I began assembly. Starting with the crankshaft, I installed the master rod, then attached all nine slave rods and pistons one by one. The casing fit perfectly, and everything aligned just right. Now for the best part, rotating the crank. And here it is, the nine piston radial engine in motion. You can see how the crankshaft drives the master rod, which powers the slave rods in a beautiful synchronized pattern. It's incredibly satisfying to watch and even more satisfying to build. This was one of my favorite builds to date, not just for its mechanical complexity, but also because of how smoothly everything came together thanks to JLC 3DP's precision printing. If you're into mechanical systems, or just enjoy building things that move, I highly recommend trying something like this. The link to JLC 3DP is in the description if you want to print your own parts. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more projects like this. And let me know in the comments what mechanism I should build next. Maybe something even more complex? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.